Hello, Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will understand about the AMPK pathway. So, the AMP activated protein kinase. This activated protein kinase, the AMPK, the activated protein kinase function, we will understand as well as physiology. How it can interact and what is the benefit? What is the function? So, the 5 prime AMP activated protein kinase is an enzyme play a role in cellular energy homeostasis and largely to activate the glucose and fatty acid uptake as well as oxidation of glucose and fatty acid when low energy whenever you will go the fasting state. It is important protein that to gather as functional and trimeric. So remember that during the fasting state each cell will trigger the certain fasting uh, stimulator and this fasting stimulator will lead to activate the AMPK pathway. This AMPK will uh, regulate the energy and homeostasis of the energy. If the energy will low, it will lead to trigger and uh, balance the energy. For example, this is a person. Whenever it will not eat food, it means this person is going to the fasting. And when this food will not intake, in this way the fasting will trigger the AMPK. This AMPK is trimeric molecule. Here is the cell. For example, the several type of ligands which that bind the receptor will lead to trigger the AMPK during the fasting state. And in this way, it will activate the DNA and that DNA in the response of the stress will lead to activate the stress gene. AMPK is the survival protein for cell by activation. And in this way, the DNA activation and this is the trimeric protein. Heterotrimeric protein complex for stability and activity of the AMPK is possible. Let's understand about whenever you will go with the fasting, the AMPK will activate. This AMPK will activate, will inhibit, what inhibit? It will inhibit the cholesterol synthesis, lipogenesis, triacylglycerol synthesis as well as the glycogenesis in the muscle. This is the lipid droplet I am understanding to you. And the modulation of the insulin, in this way the AMPK will inhibit the insulin production but slightly can be increased. But insulin will inhibit because the glucose level when drop during the fasting state. Let's understand about the expression uh, on the different type of organs like liver. Whenever the liver activates the AMPK, will lead to GLUT open, the GLUT channel increase for the glucose metabolism and the beta oxidation, fatty acid storage and the glycolysis and ketogenesis as well as gluconeogenesis possibly. The neuroprotection in the brain, synaptogenesis, longevity of the neuron due to the AMPK activation. For muscle, the uptake of glucose, glycolysis, energy homeostasis and metabolism. In this way, during the fasting time, AMPK will work for increase the GLUT channel and in this way, the increase of the GLUT channel will choose the glucose from, uh, for the muscle contraction. The blood circulatory system which that involve uh, and in this way let's understand about this is the intracellular matrix and extracellular matrix of the general cell. I am just understanding with the general cell diagram. This is the insulin productive cell pancreas containing beta cell. This beta cell uh, will contain insulin vesicle. Whenever the response, whenever the triggering or stimulus will lead to activate the this beta cell lead to uh, exocytosis of the insulin into the blood. Anyway, let's understand about how it can work. This is the food. Whenever you will eat this food, in this way the wall of the stomach will anteroendocrine cell will target the produce GIP, will trigger the uh, islet of uh, Langerhans, the beta cell. In this way the uh, beta cell produce the insulin. While on the other hand, the glucose the, uh, indirectly uh, increase uh, in the blood stream uh, after the acid uh, absorption into the blood stream will lead to trigger the beta cell to produce insulin. 
while the adiponectin will produce whenever you go into the fasting and this adiponectin will produce from the fat this adiponectin will also target to the several type of tissue for example insulin receptor will bind with the insulin the tyrosine receptor tyrosine kinase receptor will activate the pi3k and akt will inhibit the amp kinase because the glucose level will be high hyperglycemia in the blood and that is why the insulin is releasing so that is why the amp kinase will inhibit amp kept will inhibit while the leptin which that will leptin will produce uh, with the bind with the leptin receptor in the hypothalamus will lead to inhibit the amp kinase because it is basically during the fat state and in this way that is why it will inhibit will lead to activate the mtor on the other hand for muscle and liver during the fasting state for our leptin to, uh, so, uh, or fasting state or fat state it will activate the amp kinase for the beta oxidation of fat etc on the other hand the uh, adiponectin when bind will lead to activate the phospholipase b this phospholipase b will activate the uh, calmodulin kinase kinase b will activate the ampk on the other hand the lkb1 which that activate the possibly will also target to the amp kinase phosphorylation to activation on the other hand the uh, alpha adrenergic receptor during the sympathetic nervous system the phospholipase uh, c beta will activate the calmodulin kinase kinase beta and in this way basically will activate the amp kinase and the uh, g couple protein receptor also it is on the other hand the growth factor receptor it is triggered during the fasting time whenever the fasting the insulin will drop while the growth hormone will increase because the growth hormone hormone will sustain the energy sustain the protein in the cell etc and in this way, it will lead to also grow and uh, prevent the waste of protein this growth hormone basically will lead to lipolysis also and it will bind with the uh, growth hormone uh, growth factor receptor it can also bind the insulin insulin like growth factor 1 and 2 but the adapter protein will trigger possibly to ampk while on the other hand the metformin this metformin also trigger the amp kinase it means it mim mimic the fasting during the not fasting but it will lead to mimicry the uh, interleukin 6 and uh, during the inflammation time will lead to respond uh, also trigger mitochondrial dysfunction will lead to increase the calcium amp adp ratio and atp decrease and reactive oxygen species also trigger the amp kinase the dna damage will produce the atm this atm will possibly trigger the amp kinase in this way on the other hand the other stimulus like muscle contraction nutrient stress oncogene stress and hypoxia low level of oxygen shear stress this all type of stress and stimuli which that will lead to and increase the amp adp ratio uh, or calcium or other things and like the dysfunction of mitochondria and in this way the uh, am atp will drop will lead to activate the amp kinase and in this the amp kinase ampk will activate the dna for production of the certain type of protein for the survival ship of the cell that is why the cell will survive during the fasting time whenever the energy will be low the lkb1 and cam kkb and tac1 also triggered by this will lead to activate the ampk so in this way the ampk when increase will lead to work several type it will activate some genes as well as inhibit some genes like activation is the sirt1 alk1 cysteines and or f2 skn1 lkb1 tac1 foxo daf16 cam k calmodulin kinase kinase p and p53 it is the activation this protein activation will work for the production of that protein this work for the production of that proteins will lead to survive the cell 
while the mTOR C1 and 2, PP2A and PP2CA and the uh, necro necrosis factor kappa B and the CRTC1, which that is inhibition. This will lead to inhibition and these proteins will not produce, will lead to cell survive. And in this, the mTOR C is progress the cancer, so it means that it is AMP kinase whenever triggered during the fasting time will lead to inhibit the cancer because the proliferation of the cell will not possible, but the survival of the cell is possible. Let's understand about the further stimulation and inhibition. So the AMPK will trigger the ALK1 and the autophagy will trigger. And in this way, if the cell will damage, so the autophagy will occur, not proliferate or divide. The possibly mitochondrial biogenesis, glycolysis, gluconeogenesis, glycogen synthesis, cell cycle control, and glucose transport can be possible due to the AMPK activation. While the mTOR will be inhibit, it means the autophagy will be a trigger because the autophagy not uh, trigger uh, autophagy trigger uh, uh, not triggered by the mTOR so in this the mTOR when inhibits so the autophagy ultimately trigger while the uh, uh, crab and e, uh, endothelial nitric oxide synthase will activate to produce nitric oxide and HDAC and FOXO will trigger the gene expression the AMPK will inhibit the ACC1 uh, this this is the uh, uh, basically is the ACC2 will lead to fatty acid synthesis and fatty acid oxidation uh, basically will inhibit. In this way, the HMG CoA reductase will inhibit. It means uh, cholesterol synthesis will not occur. And the Strep P1 and HSL uh, uh, raptor, uh, which that will lead to uh, inhibit. In this way, the lipogenesis and lipolysis will be. Um, inhibit lipogenesis is mostly inhibit let's understand about the summarization the fasting state and fat states the fasting state will activate the ampk while the fat state activate the mtor the fasting will lead to ampk will lead to cell survive and cell longevity and decrease aging while on the other hand the mtor will trigger the survive and proliferate cell cell growth and divide and DNA repair will be difficult. In this way, the cancer can be progress. While on the other hand, the cell longevity due to the AMPK and decrease the aging. In this way, the cancer progress and the DNA, uh, cancer will progress due to the mTOR during the fat state. That is why the fasting is too much important. Whenever you will go with the fasting, so the benefit of the fasting is 1000% increase. The decline AMP with aging, AMPK with aging can be cause autophagy decline, oxidative stress increase, endoplasmic stress increase, apoptotic resistance increase, inflammation increase, fat deposition increase, induces hyperglycemia, enhances the metabolic syndrome. This all things is basically decline the AMP K will lead to cause aging basically. So the how to activate the AMPK? It is important to note that the fasting. Whenever you will go with the fasting, so the AMPK will be activate. This AMPK will lead to regulate the ATP and uh, energy currency as well as the synthesis of that protein which that is able to survive the cell and live longer the cell. In this way, the cell will not die, but it will live longer. It means our cell division will be stopped. And that is why when cells division will be stopped, it means our cell live more longer. And when not replicate, it means it can be uh, able to replicate later on. Thanks for watching.